Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we need to send this guy back to Minmus again because I failed the re-entry because I didn't realize that they changed drogue shoots in the last patch. And you know, the moment I said it, I actually remembered reading it in the patch notes. So <laughs> it's entirely my own fault. Hence why we're running this again. So we need to get this mission underway and then we can start bringing back the the one on the moon and I needed to do this burn slightly earlier but that's okay so we'll get this inclination change done and get this on the way to Minmus meanwhile the moon one is currently filling up its ore tanks and its its uh, fuel tanks So that is fantastic. Our ore tanks here are empty, of course, and our fuel tanks are full. That will not change, or that will not remain the same. <laughs> our fuel tanks will empty, and our ore tanks will fill, and then our fuel tanks will also fill. Okay, that should be close enough. Absolutely, Mimis is currently there. Let's go ahead and about at this ascending node. Actually, is about the right point, I think, to go for an encounter here. Nope, not quite. A little further. That's an encounter. It's not much of an encounter, but it's an encounter. Let's fine-tune this a little bit. Now that's an encounter. 13 kilometers. I want to be a little higher. 20 is good. Note in T-8 minutes. So let's go ahead and physics warp this turn. Excellent. And we're actually going to be getting some light here in a moment, so we'll be able to see things, which is nice. Things have been very dark recently. Okay, and then we should burn until T mine or burn. We should physics warp, or even time warp would be fine, until T minus, let's see here, 30 plus 20, 25 and a half seconds. So T minus 55 seconds, call it, 56-ish. Go ahead and warp forward. Okay, keep warping a little bit. Now is the time to burn. And off we go to Minmus. Fantastic. And hopefully by the time we get landed there, and get our various industrial bits set up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, our moon guy will be ready to come on back. That's the idea anyway. But I'm going to get this landed this episode, for sure. We, I, I think, honestly, I think I'm going to physics warp this burn. It's, it's a little bit of a lengthy one. I don't generally like doing that because there's always the risk that the physics kraken will get you, but we'll go ahead and de-physics warp now as we're getting close to the end of the burn. Check how we're doing over here. Looks okay thus far. And let's just finish this up. Gonna freeze that rotation so that we can head back up towards that node with any luck. Come on. You can get there. We have like one tiny little reaction wheel, which is always exciting. Okay, that's very, very close. Ooh, overshot. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping to not do that, but we... We're having this uh, time warp thing again. Whoa, look at that. Every time we time warp, it's actually coming up. See that? That is weird. I mean, I suppose I can abuse this? 
Technically, we're just physics warping this. But I honestly don't trust it. We need to head to the retrograde node. And I am going to physics warp that. But I don't trust that it's going to remain like that, is the thing. So we need to head to that retrograde node. Get up here ASAP. That is so weird. Okay, here we are. And it changed again. That's why I don't trust it. That's fine. I'll leave it at that. We burned to get there. <laughs> okay, so let's warp to there. A regular warp, not a physics warp. And as we're warping in, I can go ahead and create a node at the periapsis, but we're control locked. Now we're not. So we can do a retrograde burn right about here. Should do the trick. Go ahead and warp to that maneuver. Fantastic. This is going to be at T minus nine seconds. We'll head to the maneuver node. And we'll go ahead and warp forward once we get there. We're almost there. Okay, let's warp forward. T minus nine seconds is when we want to do this burn. So right now. Fantastic. I don't really care about inclination change, and we don't have a ton of delta V left in this maneuver stage, so we're going to be able to burn most of that in our descent maneuvers. Okay, good enough. So where do we want to come down? Probably somewhere up over here, like we did before. So let's go ahead and warp to here, 44 minutes in the future. Okay, and it rotated to there. So we'll go ahead and warp a little further forward. It's continuing to rotate, of course. Let's go ahead and change our inclination to be something kind of like this. We also want to do a bit of, maybe a bit of a radial burn here. Uh, actually, I think this is pretty good. We'd be overshooting it a fair amount, but we're still going to be coming in for a landing. And then once we're here, we can kill our horizontal velocity. I like it. Okay. T minus 11 seconds, so five and a half. I'm going to physics warp our turn as we head on over there. Our turns are getting faster and faster because our large, our large fuel tank in the maneuvering stage is running low on fuel. There we go, and we'll go ahead and time warp forward to about T minus six seconds. Okay, close enough. And burn. That should be close enough, I think. Yep, yeah, that's good. That will be absolutely fine. Once we reach here, I'd like to do a retrograde burn. And we're just going to be coming down something along the lines of this. Maybe more like here, to be a little bit more centralized. Okay, that should do the trick, and then we will manually adjust that later on. So let's go ahead and warp to this maneuver, but we need to get to the maneuver node. So I'm going to physics warp our turn. And hope that, that doesn't change anything too dramatically, because apparently that does things now. Which is very weird. Okay. There we go, we are in position, so we'll go ahead and warp to this maneuver. This is another 11 second burn. We're going to need to change our location here, because it orbited under us a little bit. So that's completely fine. We'll just do that number and warp to this maneuver. And this should be completely fine. 12 second burn now. I'm just going to lock to the retrograde node. And we're going to burn, or rather warp forward until about six seconds. There we go. 
I want to be in surface retrograde mode right now. And I'm just going to get rid of that. I was mostly using it to mark timings. Okay. Let's head to that surface retrograde mode, but we need to alter our trajectory to be straight down. We've got 147 delta V left in this stage. I think once we're going straight down, that's going to be fine. I should be in radar altitude mode. The two are currently one in the same. There's the retrograde node. And realistically, I now want manual control. Let me kill horizontal speed here. We need to come up this direction a little bit, push it on into the uh, straight up and down position. And then we're going to start descending. If I can get any level of control here. Okay. Let's just head to retrograde for now and I'll adjust it later on if need be. So far it seems okay though. Gonna physics warp as we turn. It's a little bit off, but I'll adjust it once we get turned up over here. Okay, we'll go back into stability assist and we'll just see if we can get this guy moved a tiny amount over here. If I can stop this momentum. There we go. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and eject this at this time. There we go. And now I'm going to quick save, just in case something breaks. And let's go ahead and warp here. About two minutes forward. Okay, so far so good. Let's extend our landing legs. Excellent. And I'm going to warp forward again to about here, about 26 seconds in the future. We're going to start this burn at about three kilometers. So I'm actually going to keep warping three kilometers, maybe four. I don't want to lose this craft again. <laughs> yeah, we'll start at four kilometers. This was the right call. I'm also trying to kill any horizontal speed that we've got here. Okay, there we go. We're down to two kilometers. I'm going to cut the throttle for a little bit until we get to one kilometer, I think. So I think we could have gotten away with three kilometers, realistically. 1.5 kilometers. 1.3, 1.2. One kilometer. We're burning. Let's just go into stability assist mode. Let's cut this throttle a bit until we are at 10 meters per second. And we're going to cut even further. And we'll just try to maintain this for right now. We're still decelerating. 300 meters up. Now we're accelerating. Okay, let's bring it down to 5 meters per second. That's five meters per second there. 
We do have a fair amount. Of uh, horizontal speed. I'm trying to cut that out right now. Okay. Let's just sit at surface retrograde. Now stability assist. I want to be straight up and down currently. We're still 40 meters up. But we're very close to hitting the ground here. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Let's go ahead and extend our radiators. Beautiful. We'll turn on that guy and we'll deploy all of our drills. Excellent. Then we'll start them. And then our, as our fuel fills, like our, our fuel is going to fill before our ore does. I did not mean to retract that. Redeploy that. Our fuel will fill before our ore does, so that's great. And then once our... Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Once our, once our fuel is filled, then our ore will begin to fill. But let's go check in quick on our moon project. Now that we have our second version of the Minmus project ready to go, we will be able to bring back the moon at a hopefully lower rate of speed. That would be nice. We're not bringing back the whole moon. The moon project. So let's go ahead and do the ore tanker at the moon. And we'll see how that's come along on filling its fuel and its ore tanks. If it hasn't filled yet, I'll just have to do a little bit of warping off camera until it is filled. Okay, so uh, these guys will need to be restarted since it always jumps a little bit when we load it in. There we go, and of course we're not full on our fuel. Can't help but notice that. So I'm going to have to warp this here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and I'm going to warp this until this guy is ready to go, which may be a while. <laughs> And next episode, we are going to return this and complete this contract. We only need 450 units of ore, so that's what we're going to be working towards. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.